Hi, I'm Jim from ePass Performance. We're here to show you an install on our Porsche 911. This is the kit we have, our electric motor with all the universal joints and steering shafts and the ECU. First order of business, we're gonna go ahead and unhook the battery, take the interior of the trunk out, gotta take the air box out and gain access to the steering shaft. Now that we've removed the air box and interior, we need to remove this steering shaft from universal joint to universal joint. Modification of the footwell will need to be made to achieve proper angle on the steering box. Now we'll need to install on the front brake a 90 degree brass fitting for the brake sensor. Now that we've made clearance in the footwell, we're gonna go ahead and install the motor from both universal joints. And that's how we're gonna achieve the two holes that need to be drilled for the bracket that is mounted on the motor. Now that we've installed the steering motor from universal joint to universal joint, we're gonna go ahead and mark the two holes for the bracket. And then we're gonna go ahead and mark this hole for the potentiometer to be installed later. This will have to get removed. The holes will get drilled and then final installation. Okay, moving on to the air box, you're gonna go ahead and modify this with a heat gun to make sure it has clearance to fit the motor. Once that is done, we need to move on. Now we're moving on to installing the ECU. The ECU consists of ignition hot, potentiometer for steering feedback, steering sensor, and battery positive. The ignition hot and battery positive get run down through the front of the car over to the battery. The rest of the potentiometer and steering sensor run back up around here, back to the motor. Now we need to find a suitable spot for the ignition hot from the ECU, and that is found in the ignition switch section of the fuse box. Now that we've installed the ECU and ran all the wires, the steering motor is hooked up, we're gonna to need to move into the car, check the ignition, make sure we hear the click in the ECU. Once we hear that, we will go ahead and take the car for a ride, recenter the steering wheel, and reassemble the vehicle. Now that we move to the interior of the car, we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition switch hot. Hear the click from the ECU, letting us know that the steering system is armed. Now it's time to take it for a test drive. Thank you for watching the videos.